Good afternoon, all right, folks. Is anybody there? I'm not late. I'm te technically overdue the four, but I knew this was going to happen. I I'm hoping you saw my pre message that I put out this morning to say the four's at 4.30. It was the message that had the crazy carpets on it, the crazy carpet image that I've been gazing at these past two days, taking those having a, just a check in to go, okay, up and down those stairs. It's a really cra crazy, crazy, I haven't seen a crazy carpet like that for a long time. I'm trying to think last time I saw a crazy carpet. Oh, it's really quite discombobulating. Don't know if that's the right word. Afternoon, Doris. Afternoon, Miss P. Uh, I'm a bit low, aren't I? Um, I'm in the, in the PI room, Premier room. This is Kelsey's bed tonight. <laughs> She's, she's in the single because she's arriving late. Um, she's, I think she's left this afternoon. So uh, the two days that I've just done, I'm doing again with a different team. And uh, Chaos is with Eve for the next two days by way of observation and uh, sharing of learning within the, uh, within the LLT team. The last time Chaos and I worked together was in Belgium. I don't know if you remember, we shared a room there. It's a bit like being in a submarine. Thankfully, there's more space here in this one. Uh, but she is on the single there. So I'm going to do a movement stack on her bed. That's what I'm going to do. I've just had a look at her sway from yesterday. So maybe I'm playing around with it. There's, there's quite a lot of ways we can take this one. So I'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll add on a bit if you want it. And then it's into the stretches. That's it. And then as far as the next two days go, Kaus and I are together here. So it'll be one of us. One of us will be up in the morning doing the doing the eight. May, may well be me. Uh, and then between us, we'll uh, we'll decide who's doing the the noons and the fours for the next two days. Uh, it's really strange that I should see so much of Kels. It very it very rarely happens. But um, I've got my earplugs ready. <laughs> She's probably got her earplugs too. To be fair, to be fair, it's not anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's, that's all I'm saying. Right, ready, steady. It's 4.30, Bex Townley Later Life Training. 4 p.m. movement snack. In the uh, the primary you're in, in Buddy, on uh, on Kelsey's bed tonight, is what's going on here. So that's gonna be my seated options. I pulled up the chair for external support, not suggesting that this is gonna be the best support for all of you, by far the best support is a fixed firm support, but uh, this gives us the best angle. So I'm going for this. So it boosts to start, here's the prompts, decide where you want the support, to the side or to the front, or maybe not at all. Balanced by way of having your feet under your hips, start steady, stay steady on the circ boost. Bit of a fingertip touch on there if that gives you extra support. Sometimes just a, a hand on there. You're not hanging on to the support, but just that contact, just that sensation on the hands there provides loads of information to the brain to go, yep, yeah, steady, body is steady, rhythmical movement is helping maintain balance and extra extra moves from the ankles, feet and toes, and then building in, excuse me, building in the arm moves from the shoulder, backwards and forwards. And if you know this external support is assisting with balance, replace it and then off you go again. Of course, if this external support doesn't serve to support anything, then go without it. Might look like that. Steady, rhythmical, comfortable, doable, achievable, just enough to boost the circulation, increase the blood flow, maybe get some deep breaths going on, carry on standing uppers. Here are your seated options. I'm gonna come down onto Kelsey's bed tonight. And then off we go again. There's, there's your shoulder moves. It might be one, it might be two, rhythmical and steady. Points here is that you're moving around a, an upright and active trunk. If you start, if, if you start to fade and slump, just, just take a rest, take a break, have a recovery, have a rest, and then build and go again. And if legs are on your radar in the day, if you're building towards standing activities, 
so much value in preparing feet and legs, boosting, boosting the circulation in a sit position, working from the feet. So the, the, the leg is the thigh is coming up as a result of the movement of the foot, not as a result of rah, lifting up the leg from the hip. And then bring it all together. Go for the, the toe off if you're happy to, or leave them down there. And the other option is just get my coordination uh, head on, put my change my where's or gummage head to the coordination head and off I go. That's your diagonal if you want it. Mix it up, upper and lower or in together. I'm going to push up to stand and prepare for the sway. Cal started a new sway yesterday and by my eyes it looked a bit like this. Get your balance first off. There's no legs in this yet. We start the first couple of days just to just to skill up uh, an arm sequence around an active posture position. Support if you'd like it to the side. We go single arm, single arm, and at some point both arms will come in the mix. But for now, it went like this. She had use this if you want it, or arms down by your side. There was a, a, a kind of a turn away to turn in. So it leads with the back of the hand. So it's kind of a, a turn out and a turn in at the hips, a palm up and turn out, and then it turns in again, and then palms forward as if you're cleaning the windows and a float down. Now that, excuse me, that circular movement at the end, keep the arm in front of the body, keep, keep, keep it here, keep it all in front, so it will be comfortable there. Uh, keep it small to begin with so it remains comfortable. To do the other arm, you may decide that you want some external support on that side or you may decide to turn all the way around uh, and do it here. But it's a bit rude for me to talk to you with my back to you so I'm going to go without support. Here's the other side. Here's the prepare for the back of the hand. Hip, chest height, chest height again, palms forward, circle and float down and then off we go again prepare back of the hand so you can see how much the trunk can be involved back of the hand palms forwards and float down same on the other side so you can have as much or as little trunk in there as you want and with all the sways slow it down slow is what we're aiming for that's where chaos left you yesterday, I, th I think, from my eyes. There, 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 there. I'm gonna add a bit if you want it. Have a pause, have a switch off. Have a, a bit of a, a, a shifty in between. Set up the position again. Uh, I'm just gonna do a prequel. I'm gonna put one thing in before that. And the movement is kind of from the, el from the elbows only. So from your kind of active, trunk and arm position we go back of hand but just just the elbows just there so there's no movement from the shoulder have a look it's there and then into there there's the palm up there's the palm across there's the palm to the front and float down then just the elbow circle again then the other side uh, I make it a bit swirly if you want, a bit swirly and swooshy, float it down, elbow circle, and then off you go again. That's it, that's, that's my add-on. That's my contribution to this week's sway so far. Elbow circle, and then off you go. Palm up with or without the trunk. Smaller as big, big if you want. Uh, the, the bigger the range on that, that lifty arm, you're likely to get some back extension as well. All controlled, just you can know exactly what's going on. The aim is to slow, control, but find your flow on this. Keep it smooth, smooth, smooth. Elbow circle again and off you go. That's it. That's my contribution to sway. End of sway into stretchier positions, starting with the, the chest, the, the, the front of the trunk, this bit, sit or stand, oh, hang on, wait, 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 come on, tell me, hang on, 
seized option for um, accurateness. Because the thighs are here, there may be some adjustments to range of motion that you might need to, to do. Uh, but there's, there, there's your elbow circle, and then there's the, there's the across, the across, small or big. It's exactly the same, it's just that you might need to just adapt a bit of that position to work in front of you. Small as you like, slow it down rather than pace it up. Slowness, oh, there's the tram, slowness is, is, is what we're aiming for. Now we can go into chest stretch. There it is, it's just this. It might be that you're sliding your hands to there-ish, as if you put your hands in your back pockets. It might be more comfortable to go to there-ish, and then lift and extend, press the, 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 the sternum forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the head still, and, and shoulders remain down, and you're stretching and extending the, the front of the chest, away from slumpy hunched into extend and open that's where the balance positions are or better balance and better position for arm movements maintain your breathing through these stretchy positions if you feel if you feel a bit hindered in your breath maybe just move into have a stretch and then slowly come out again so if it's not comfortable to stay there in that extended position don't stay there simple as that simple and release. Back of arm stretch. Helping with this, getting your hands here, washing, dressing, collars, hair, pillows, cushions, all of those kinds of things. Putting in a couple of preparations. So I like to do a bit of preparation first, just to feel, just to check in with shoulder range today. So start at the side of the head, the back of the head, the base of the neck, between the shoulder blades, maybe go through those uh, those landmarks, side of the head, back of the head, base of the neck, there. Uh, and the more you go down with the fingertips, the elbows will go up. And it's your comfortable range of motion. So check in with that, see where that is, and then take that, a similar movement, elbows going up, 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 up. You'll feel the tension coming in round up round the back of the arm and the armpit take the pause there keep the head still and then slowly out the same in sit find a, a position that's comfortable 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 then go for a pause the pause is is to allow for for the muscles just to wait there a bit 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 maybe if this kind of range of motion isn't on your radar at the moment might be something you're looking to improve everything starts with a comfortable range start at your comfortable range keep moving within your comfortable range repeat 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 the more the more the more you go the more frequently you have a go you're going to lengthen improve flexibility coupled with all the mobilizing that we do we're looking to improve movement over time little bits and often little bits and often it's the frequency where there's so many gains to be had Sides of trunk, so this, these bendy bits here, so that you can get comfortable, shift, shift and uh, get comfortable in bed, turn over in bed, get the itch between your shoulder blades, sort out your clothes, get into all of that, all knees, this bendy bit down the side. So sit or stand you choose, if you're in stand and you're confident in stand, maybe take a wider stance, maybe put in that elbow raise that you've just done, then go for the reach, then go for the bend over the top, then come straight back out again. Um, the aim isn't to, to stay up there for any long period of time. The aim is just to be really as specific as you can. There's the vertical up, you can feel, see the stretch there, add a bit of a bend at the end if you'd like to or not doesn't have to be that high if your hand isn't comfortable up there if your shoulder isn't ready for that yet it could just be this it's, it's a bit of a different feeling to bending down it's more uh, a bend down kind of starts with the focus of bending there it's more about shifting up you can feel the difference on that there's the 
the shift up and you're going to get a draw in through the tummy muscles as well. Other things you might want to try, support the arms, you'll get a bit of extension there. That might be a, a comfortable way, it might be in sit there. Just lift and raise, just by going through that range of motion, you're going to start to feel the movement around the shoulders for sure. And this stretch down the side, ways to increase that could be from there and then go for the base. If you go around the corner, back to base and down. Or having the hands together, going for the reach away, that, that might be a way. So just maybe have a go at all of those. I, I talk about this one going the long way out, is the long way out and the shortcut back. There you go. Three, three key moves from daily life, they're all designed to help and improve range of motion and movement in your, in your top half. Bottom half, if you have interest, back of dying calves, I'm going to go to sit, going to feel, feel for my chair, sit with extra slow, so I'm not going to be a plonker, I'm not going to be a plonker, extra strength in legs if I don't be a plonker, no comments on that. Now then, can you see me feet? Well, here's the challenge, isn't it? Maybe here, can you see me feet? Arr, camera angle isn't on my side today. There's the feet there. So we're looking for an extended leg, bit of a knee bend, looking to feel, looking to feel, aiming to feel the stretch on the back of the thighs. There's upright and then hinge, hinge, hinge. Relax this foot here, switch the foot off or maybe put the toe down and there's the feel. Can you feel it? Can you feel it here? you hinge forward it might take a bit of adjustment around your, around your hips to feel that play around with that the tension is tolerable com comfortable but you know it's there and then ease forward you might want to use this hand for support there you go slowly in and slowly out everything sl slowness the 4 p.m. is all about quality movement trying to get the muscles to lengthen more than your day is already offered. Long leg, foot, relaxed foot, lift and then hinge, 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 hinge. Maintain your usual breathing. Maybe check in with that range of motion. How comfortable is it to get your hands to your shoelaces, your toes or your shins or your knees, slowly in, slowly out. Have a pause, have a slump tilting the pelvis there so you there away from your coccyx high up high up onto your sick bones and there you go have a bit of a bend in the knee there that'll help scrunch up your face when i said that bit of a bend in your knee there it is slowly and slowly out one set of stretching to do calves Press position is the same. Oh my goodness, what someone just sent to me. Might be Doris, I don't know. Can you see me foot here? The calf stretch is all about the movement of the foot. Maintaining the upright position here. Get even more activity and stamina building through your trunk. You can see me foot here. And then when I bring the foot back, toes come back towards the shin. You'll be feeling two sensations. One is the feeling of effort on the shins, because those are the muscles that are bringing the toes back. Therefore, the muscles on the back of the lower leg there are, are lengthening, are stretching. So you've got some contracting of the shins and some lengthening of the calves. Critical, of course, for that movement of picking up toes for walking and confident stride. So that's your seated calf stretch. There's extra benefits if you're uh, good to give this a go in stand. Fixed firm support, all of foot, and lower the heel there you'll be feeling two things here as well one feeling of stretch on the front of the hip and the others on the calf and it might be that you feel this one more than that one so there's some adjustments you can make if you would like to modulate that a bit more so foot position is forwards check that your foot isn't out at um, 10 past 12 or 10 to 12 depending what leg you've got so everything is forward facing, toes, knees, hips, chest, head, forward facing. Have a glance down. If your foot is slightly out, you're going to lose out on calf stretch. So ball of foot first, 
square it up and lower it down and then come up to stand and there you'll get the extra front of hip. And you can see and feel, can't you, that that is everything about stride length there. When I take a stride, there's the hip stretch, there's the calf stretch before it comes up. So a calf stretch, arguably, is, is stride practice. Just saying. Hands on for support, remove the balance challenge, there it is. There's the stretch. Heel comes up. If you can't feel the stretch, step back further, but you're going to feel more hip as well. As well, it's wow as well. That's it, the end, that's your 4pm at 4.30. Add in any extras. Bex hug if you want. Uh, I'm a waiting cow, so I'm not sure what time she's arriving. I don't know whether to wait for her, eat, eat without her or with her or what. Yorin, what are you doing there? Oh my goodness. Good afternoon, Yorin. Great to see you. Good, good evening, Norway. Thank you, Miss P. Thank you. Um, I've got brain ache. <laughs> oh, Sandra's got brain ache. Uh, someone's filling in forms. Thank you, Sue. I'll see, well, you'll see one of us tomorrow morning. It's more than likely to be me. It, it won't be with Cal laying in that bed, by the way. We'll, we'll, we'll make sure we're both up. <laughs> All right, folks. Uh, I'm off to do the car park shuffle now. Love that. See you tomorrow, folks. Bye for now.